For all your t-shirt needs, check out Tee Public's Killer Selection. Follow the link in the description. Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and today I've got a uh, little tutorial walkthrough for you guys on challenge number five of the Friday the 13th, the game single player challenges, the Pekinac Party, which has quickly become one of my favorite challenges in the game. So what you want to do here is you want to wait for our uh, bathing beauty to begin her night swim, and then keep your eyes peeled for Chad, who's going to be coming along here on his little uh, peeping Tom stroll through the woods. Um, seems like he sometimes takes a couple of different paths. Um, uh, usually he's either by the rock where he is now, or he'll move in behind the um, lifeguards tower and then come over to the woods where we were. Either way, he's pretty easy to, to take out. Um, I prefer to take him out over here by this tree stump because you get this really cool kill. That's what you get for being a peeping Tom, Chad. Then I can uh, just slide in the water here. And uh, we'll come over here and take her out and complete our first objective. <gasps> to the deep. <clears throat> So once we've taken her out, we'll uh, morph back over here to the lodge and take a peek inside at what everybody's doing. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to try and get uh, get all the objectives for um, this challenge and get all of the skulls. First, let's get all of the skulls, let's get all the XP, let's remain undetected, and let's uh, kill them all. No survivors. That'll get us all of the objectives but one, and then we'll come back and we'll do, uh, we'll take care of that objective. So here we've got uh, Bugsy and Adam <laughs> arm wrestling. And what you want to do is wait for Adam to accept the challenge for some Greco-Roman wrestling upstairs with AJ. Creep on around, come inside the lodge. What you want to wait to do once you get inside is um, yes, uh, keep your ears open for Adam and AJ talking upstairs in the, uh, in the bedroom. That lets you know that both of them are um, occupied so to speak. Now what I like to do here with Bugsy and Deborah is uh, wait for them to uh, put all their attention into the, uh, the handheld video game. And once they start playing the video game, I turn stock on, I creep up the stairs very slowly. And uh, let's go take a peek in here on Adam and AJ, see what they're doing. I'm sure they're just playing a game of Yahtzee or uh, a Monopoly or something. But, oh, goodness. What do we have here? Jason does not look happy to have walked in on this scene. Oh, that's awesome. Love that kill. Of course, very reminiscent of the shish kebab kill from Friday the 13th Part 2. And uh, that was a, uh, that was a, uh, yeah, that was fun. So after we've taken care of those two, let's morph over here and let's wait for Deborah to come over to her cabin where she's going to uh, freshen up a bit for her little, um, 
her little rendezvous with Bugsy. Here she comes. And um, unfortunately for her and Bugsy, we're going to put a bit of a kibosh on their little um, their little romantic uh, rendezvous. Let's wait for Deborah to go inside. Now, it takes a second or two for Deborah to do whatever she's going to do inside the cabin before she steps outside onto the uh, little balcony area. And that's where you want to wait for her to go out. And once she goes out there, she starts uh, combing her hair. Now that she's gone out, we'll, we'll go inside here. If the game will allow me to go inside, please, 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 game, please. Okay, there we go. The 50th time was the charm. Just want to creep up here behind her. Take her out anyway. Bashing her head against um, against the, uh, the pole there or breaking her back. Of course, the two easiest ways in that completes the objective split ends and we're going to come back over to the lodge we're going to check in on Bugsy Bugsy's probably wondering what's taking her so long my goodness women they take so much time in the bathroom getting ready <sighs> so what you want to do here is just wait for Bugsy to uh, move out to the uh, outside it's funny when Bugsy's telling Deborah how he ended up in the wheelchair <laughs> earlier in the challenge sometimes he says it happened it was a surfing accident that caused him to uh, to be in the chair other times he tells her that it was a, a trampoline accident also with Bugsy it's interesting because if you if you notice there are times in where he will stand up out of the wheelchair which I'm not sure if that's intended or not, but of course it begs the question of if he can stand, why is he in the wheelchair? So we'll take out the radio here, which is another objective, Killer DJ. And we'll just wait here for a minute for Bugsy to wheel himself to the end of the, uh, the deck. And we'll creep up behind him. We'll turn Stalker on, although we probably don't need Stalker as long as you just uh, creep up behind him. Slow and steady, don't run, don't power walk. If you've ever wondered why that machete is there, this is why. Oh! Poor Bugsy. And, <laughs> of course... Uh, Reminiscent of one of the most mean-spirited kills in Friday the 13th history. It's wrong to laugh at that, but it's such a such an awesome kill. So as you can see here, we've got all the skulls. And we've completed all the objectives, but one. So let's restart the round, and let's uh, do it again. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to morph directly to the lodge. I'm going to walk right in the front door, creating chaos. I'm going to grab the first counselor who runs my way, and I'm going to drag them to the fireplace and uh, help them get warm by the fire. And that will complete the final objective for Challenge 5, the Pack-A-Knack Party. If you guys like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. I'll probably do some more of these walkthrough tutorial type things on some of my other favorite challenges in this game. So, uh, yeah, until then, you guys take care and uh, peace. They deserve to die, Jason. Make them suffer. Join the A Buck a Month Club and help support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to my current patrons, Kevin Smythe, Orc145626, Movie Mike, Stephen Flanagan, Lori Holt, Mitch O'Dell, Craig Farrand, Robert Sobel, Farron Sutton, Jeremiah Lambert, Terry Delamore, Joseph Charlesworth, Grindhouse Grotto, Derek Janna, PB Sam6, Demon Waffles, Tim Williams, and Stone Gassman.
Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.